Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your August 2022 intuitive card reading. I'm going to pull some cards and see what messages from spirit is coming through for you, as well as the astrology energies and how best you can move through them on this month ahead. My name is Chrissy Whistler. I am an intuitive, an astrologer, and I'm also a healer. So if you would like a private reading, or if you would like your own birth chart reading done, then please check out my website. You'll find that in the description in the link below, chrissywhistler.com. And so you can have some guidance and support on your deeper healing journey if you are really going through a rough time right now and know that you are not alone. All right, so, um, you know, as usual, please like and subscribe and all the things to help get this message out there to more people. Now, with that said, Pisces, let's find out what is in store for you this August. Now, this is going to be for my Pisces sun, moon, and rising signs. What messages does Spirit have for you at this time? Wow. I can feel them jumping already. We have Eclipse in Libra with Rebalance. Reevaluate relationships, justice, and fair play. We have the moon in Sagittarius, discovery, freedom, and adventure. And I do believe that this card came out as well for Leo. Okay, and now we have moon in Scorpio, transformation. A change in your emotional life. This is another repeat card. Okay. All right, Pisces, let me just tune in and see specifically how this might relate for you. Let's see here. So when I see cards that um that are eclipses. This is really big transformational pivot points. And I definitely see transformation because we do have Scorpio, Moon and Scorpio, and transformation out. So August, August, you might find like a real change in your... I feel like your directions, but specifically around emotions and specifically around relationships, like you are being invited into this reevaluation. What does relationship mean to you? A good relationship. What do you value in relationships? And I feel this sense of like coming into this alignment um, through your emotions, through your emotional body. And that's going to bring you into freedom, like this freedom within yourself, but also within the relationships. Because it's like the more you come into alignment and the more you discover who you are and what you want in relationships you will then in turn be freeing yourself as well as freeing up to the people in your life. And that includes the people who are in balance with you and the people who are not. It's like the energy is now going to go where it needs to go rather than you having this emotional leakage of energy in your life. And then, of course, we have justice and fair play coming in. So this might 
this might really be a lot about what is true justice to you and bringing that back into balance, back into alignment in your life where maybe you were going in one direction, maybe that was never like yours, but it was something that you inherited through society or your schooling or your parents, like these beliefs around justice, around fair play, and now you're like on this discovery journey of what is actually beneath the surface Scorpio what has been hidden in the shadows and you're doing this transformation and and it might be emotional and it may be hard I mean transformation this process it's not easy and yet once we're through it when we come that butterfly it's like we have this freedom we have this flow we can begin this new adventure um, of your life all right, let's, um, there's more here. Let's um, tune to some more astrology. Here's the astrology dice. Let's see what comes up for you. All right, so we have Mercury. And then we have, oh my gosh, look at that. This is the seventh house. This is the seventh house of Libra, so that's perfect. And this one... Let me just double check. Some of these glyphs can get really funky. <laughs> I want to make sure I read you the right one. Okay, this is Virgo. <laughs> this is Virgo. Okay. All right. So what um, immediately jumped out for me, um, Pisces, for you, um, Virgo is your opposite sign on the zodiac wheel this is your polarity so as you are going through this transformation process this eclipse in your life this pivot point of directions you may really need to have very new and strong like for some of you um, around boundaries now, for some of you, boundaries might be like a really new thing. You may have never had boundaries in relationships before. You might be someone who is a people pleaser, or you may feel that people like constantly like walk all over you. Those are just two examples that came to the top of my head. So for you is this encouragement and this invitation to learn how to do boundaries in relationships to not take on other people's drama and manipulations and the intensity that they're bringing in like you don't need to take that in Pisces this is really I'm sorry yes Pisces <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting all this um, astrology energy is coming through so my apologies so yes Pisces this is a very important lesson for you because you are so connected to the all. Now, this is a collective reading and each of your birth charts will reflect this differently. But in general, Pisces, you are the most, you know, you're the very sensitive souls out there where you, you don't have necessarily boundaries because you are, you are connected to the environment, to nature, to others. It's like you have this direct connection to source and this learning of boundaries of where you end and where others begin is part of your, um, your journey. And of course, that journey will be different for each of you depending on your birth chart. But discerning in relationship, holding boundaries in relationships, for some of you, um, you need to have stronger boundaries and really hold that firm. Um, as you go through this transformational process, as you start to really discover and uncover um, this, this emotions that are coming up this in within relationships, like the shining in the dark that you're experiencing, um, being very discerning. Who are the real people in your life that are your true friends, 
that are your true loved ones and lovers. And it's like discovering, and I'm hearing, feeling this with this very strong Libra energy as well, is you may be in August really learning who you are through this mirror of the other or even this you learn who you are not through the mirror of the other that might be coming through you for you as well so this is a real time as well to listen listen to others libra is very much about listening harmony and balance and so through listening to the other might for some of you yeah and help with this communication um this discovery process who am i versus who are others and how do you then communicate that to the people in your life, to those that you are in relationship with. And some of them may not be understanding of that. And so having firm boundaries and that even through their reaction of you, through how they communicate to you as you go through this transformation process will help within your discernment. Do they belong in my life or do they not? Are they aligning to how I want to be in relationships going forward? And again, this, this transformation is leading you back into yourself, back into this higher view, this eagle's eye, bird's eye view of who you are, um, what you believe, what the truth is for you and for others and having balance in that um, high octave Sagittarius is understanding this natural law that there are no single truth um, that the experience that we are all having is is unique and different for each of us and they can all be true at the same time so it feels like you're coming into this higher wisdom, Pisces, um, in August through this experience of relationships. And just, it, it feels as well like this just real deep healing journey that you are on that you will be experiencing through relationships, which is really beautiful. All right, let's see what other messages and guidance the Spirit has for you today, Pisces. I'm feeling as well with this Mercury um, through this process to Pisces you will be learning new ways of communicating with others it feels like you have a real opportunity to unlock something within you yeah to unlock something within you that is able to communicate even this this higher wisdom coming in through the Sagittarius card this truth that we all have many truths and they're all true depending on our lived experience and you can really be for some of you having a gift coming forward of how to communicate that um, I'm also feeling as well as this communication in whatever area in your life is kind of like on your soul to do like maybe it's in your career or some project that you have um, going through this transformation process, this learning through the relationships, you're going to be able to communicate this bigger, higher message to others in a whole new way. And it, it may even feel a lot like channeling that this wisdom is coming in. Um, it's this wisdom is not coming in 
from you but like through you like that that channeling energy like you can be really becoming this hollow bone for that divine wisdom and guidance to flow through as you communicate and be in these relationships with others okay let's um let's see what else we have coming in for you pisces embracing I, I love that because I immediately feel that ties right back into um, these relationships and within yourself. Okay, and okay, new beginnings. And that's coming out right under the relationships and wisdom. All right, Pisces. So, yes. Um, this, I feel, is this new beginning coming in for you in August. Um, this can be around relationships. This can be going through this transformation process is bringing you into this new beginning, this new beginning of freedom and adventure that you're discovering. I'm feeling this higher wisdom is going to be available to you as you learn how to navigate the waves that you may be feeling of emotions, um, the waves within relationships. So the wisdom of how to not get tossed around by the waters, um, but to ride those waves or things are really turbulent on the surface um, in your emotions or in your relationships. This um, wisdom and guidance to go deeper under the waters to where it is calm. Um, you may be learning that and you may also be bringing this wisdom in to teach to others and to embrace where you are on your journey to embrace this transformational process that you are in it will not be forever because spirit is being very clear to say no this is a new beginning for you this uh, intensity, this transformation will not last forever. This changing of your relationships will not last forever. But it's necessary and needed to open you to these new roads and these new paths that you are being guided on, Pisces. Right. Let's pull some more cards and add to this message. fortitude don't give up keep holding strong okay oh, wow look at that discernment right there there's that Virgo energy coming in and unity and truly with this card I immediately felt your energy Pisces um, because again Pisces is this this unity energy this unity conscious um, that you are already connected to the all and right this learning of discernment while there is unity there is still others and there still is you what is yours and what is theirs um, I'm also feeling a lot of spirit animals guides coming forward for you and supporting you on this path So I'm just tuning in to these additional cards and feeling their energy. Um, for some of you, you may be really getting rocked around in the waves right now. Um, this You might be really in it with this emotional transformation. So know that you are not alone to connect into the earth. Now, there's a lot of earth energy coming in right now. So we have Virgo. This would also be Virgo. This feels very earth to me. Okay, earth as well. So ground to the earth. 
earth herself, right? Ground to the earth, tune into the earth. If you are getting tossed around by the waves of this emotional transformation, if you are feeling really alone because you're, the relationships in your life are leaving you and they're not there or they weren't there in the way that you thought they were. So know that you're not alone and tune into yourself, tune into the earth and see who comes forward. Ask for help. Ask for your spirit guides, your animal guides to come forward. Um, and you might even see these animals uh, in your life. It can be a raven or it could be a mantis on your, on your blueberry bush. I have one of those in my garden. Or go plant some flowers. That can really help you through this transformational process. Yeah, don't give up. Don't lose hope. You might feel that very strongly coming through in August of this loss of hope because it's very hard to tell what is yours and what is others. So Spirit is really saying, be very mindful. Yes, you are connected to the whole. That's as it should be. And yet you are still you and you don't need to carry what's not yours. You don't need to carry um, the drama of these relationships and the intensities. You don't have to. You can put that down and say, no, thank you. And that, my friends, my Pisces, that is part of the discernment process. All right, let's um, pull one final message. What guidance spirit has for you? forgive yourself. Don't become a hostage to the past by berating yourself for your choices. Make amends, forgive your own shortcomings, and keep moving toward a beautiful future. So um, Pisces, how I feel this is really coming in for you is um, for some of you to really forgive yourself around these relationships. Um, that maybe you had, have, or had a bad relationship in your life and you didn't walk away sooner. Or maybe you couldn't walk away. Um, for, there's many reasons for that. But what Spirit is saying right now is forgive yourself. Let it go. Surrender. It is in the past. You can, you don't need to carry that anymore. The more you forgive, the more that this transformation will be easier, will feel smoother, will help you come back into balance within yourself. And as you come into balance with yourself, this will then reflect and project onto others. You being in balance, you being in this discerning self energy, and you're gonna have that reflected and the relationships around you. Um, it's, there's so much around relationship energy. This, um, if you are constantly berating yourself or you have a critical voice in your head telling you in so many ways how you are not enough, you will attract into your life that same frequency, that same energetic vibration in the relationships around you. And so this very well might be part of this tr emotional inner transformation you are going on is to just love yourself, forgive yourself, and then watch as that's reflected in your relationships and watch how this new way really opens up for you, this new beginning, this new you. And I just feel for some of you, like there are really big big projects that you have on your heart 
that do reach far beyond um, just your, your circle of relationships around you into the world, into unity. And, but to get to there, it's like you have to take care of yourself first. You have to love yourself first. Embrace yourself first. And then from there, the ripples outward happen as you come into your own freedom, your own ways of communicating, how you listen to others. And a real just gift for discerning. Pisces, the more you discern, the more you forgive. Like this is just going to open that way for you. For you and your channeling, your projects, your creative endeavors, um, these new uh, like careers and jobs that you may be bringing forward into the world. And, and this is all part of that, Pisces. But it starts with you. It starts with you and going through this transformation. And always know that you are not alone. And I feel as well there's a lot of ancestral energy around you at this time. As you learn how to do this. So I hope that was helpful Pisces. If you would like your own private reading for how these energies might be showing up for you in your life. Or if you would like an understanding of the astrology in your birth chart please um, check out my website. Um, there's a link in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Share this message to your friends so we can get out these energies to more and more people. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.